Hey, good evening, Lakewood Church of the Nazarene. It is Wednesday night, which means we are gathering together for a time of prayer. We are here in the Lent season, now moving closer. This Sunday is Palm Sunday. Next week is Holy Week. So we appreciate that you joined us here this evening to just for a time of uh, some worship together, some prayer together uh, as we, uh, we gather. We gathered in our living room this morning instead of over at Physique's. There's a lot of echo over there, so we're going to try it from here. So we just invite you to sing along with us. Uh, we're going to read a couple of scriptures and sing together. So just join us in that. Tonight we're looking at Psalm 29 as that encourages us to worship the Lord and to lift up his name. So if you would just join us in that as we prepare to sing together. Psalm 29. The voice of the Lord is upon the water. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over the waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic, and in his temple, everything says glory. Yes, the Lord sits as king forever. Heaven thunder, and the world was born. Life begins and ends in the dark.
for this holiest season of the year uh, to remember the sacrifice of our Savior, his victory over the cross, his victory over the grave, coming up just next week in Holy Week. Join me in prayer as we pray together tonight. Lord, we do lift you up as our holy, as our righteous, as our almighty God. We give you praise tonight and we step out of the, the things that are happening around us and just reminded once again, Lord, that you are a good God that you are loving, that you are merciful, that your grace is with us day by day. Lord, I just pray your blessing upon those who are watching tonight as we join in this time of prayer. God, that we would draw closer to you during this season as we prepare for the remembrance of your death on the cross for us, as we prepare for the celebration of your victory over the tomb on Easter Sunday. We just pray, Lord, that during this season, especially where uh, we are very mindful of disease. We are very mindful of the fact that we live in a fallen world where things are not the perfection that you created them to be, but through your Son, you are working to restore and renew. You are working to bring things back into the perfection that you created. And Lord, as, uh, as a holy God, you've called us to live as a holy people and to represent your kingdom. So we just pray that we would be able to do that. I ask that you would... Touch each person tonight, Lord, give them health, give them strength, give them that sense of peace that we read about in that verse, that they would know that they can trust you. We pray for those in our congregation that, that need that physical touch tonight, those that might be sick, those that need uh, your strength. We pray for uh, peace and for patience as uh, families are cooped up together now for quite a while. We just pray, Lord, that uh, they would... Uh, be able to know your peace in that, that the students that are working would be able to get the things done that they need, that the, uh, uh, the families uh, that are at home, Lord, that you would give them a, a blessing of being together. <clears throat> Father, those that need financial uh, peace and that sense of your being with them, that they would feel that tonight. And Lord, guide us as a church uh, as we seek to know you more deeply in this season. We pray, Lord, that your spirit would guide us into that as we draw close to you tonight. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, so good. Uh, this week, Monday, Mickey shared that devotional with us. That'll be coming out Tuesday morning. Got a chance to spend some time with several of you uh, as we did a live teaching on the parable of the Good Samaritan, and that was a lot of fun. And uh, then last night with worship tonight, Throughout the week, there will be more. You'll get to see Randy and Bev sharing. Uh, the kids are going to be gathering on Friday uh, for a live Zoom meeting, the teens on Sunday evenings. So all through the week, there's stuff going on through Lakewood Church of Nazarene. Join in through Facebook and Zoom. We'll see you again soon.